Hello folks, my name is Andre and today we're going to do this in Godot. We're going to make this timer and we're going to use the timer node. Like always, I have a rich text label and I inserted a timer object and renamed it MS for milliseconds. There are a few options you can choose on the timer, like the waiting time, this is in seconds. One shot, if you check this, the countdown is going to run only one time. And auto start, this makes the timer run as you run the program. In my GD script, like always, I have the delta function. Now now I'll need a few variables, one for the milliseconds, one for the seconds and one for the minutes. In the delta function we're going to check if the milliseconds are greater than 9. We're going to reset the milliseconds to 0 and we're going to add 1 to the seconds. We're going to do the same with the seconds. If the seconds are greater than 59, we're going to turn the seconds to 0 and we're going to add 1 to minutes. Then I'm going to set the text to string m plus colon plus string s plus colon plus string ms. If we're Around now the game is going to show only the 000 divided by the columns, just like a watch. Now we need to make this work. To make this work, we need to set the waiting time of the timer to 0.1 seconds. And now we're going to use a signal. So with the timer selected, just go to node and there you can find timeout. Select that and click to connect. Now here choose our text. This is going to create a function for us. This function is going to be called each time the counter run out. Inside the function, I'm going to add 1 to milliseconds. Last but not least, you need to check the auto start on the timer. So let's see if it's working. It's working. You're done. Leave a like and subscribe.